everyone, and welcome back to Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. I am Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo, your host, and I am so excited to be back. It's been a really busy and hectic couple of weeks as I got back to my regular job. Yes, my store is open and I'm back live in person for the people that actually come to see me every day. But what I love to do even more than my job is deliver content based on Star Citizen here on YouTube. And today we're going to be talking about their November event, which is called the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This event goes back way back, and I believe it was 2013 that I intended my first one. Working 12 hours a day throughout the holiday season, I found it very difficult to bring content every day, but I did. Nine years younger than I am today, it was simple, but it's not as simple anymore. Back then it was exciting and everything was brand new. And for most of us, for the veterans, this event is just a bunch of ships you already own or can go and see over at the different ship sales rooms throughout the Stanton system. Of course, without Teach's Ship Shop, it is difficult to see some of the more exciting and popular ship, but that venue should be back open again once Nix is back in Star Citizen sometime in the future. Anyway, I want to just preface this by saying this. There are many people like myself that are veterans that look at the IAE and say, wow, the most exciting part of this is probably the JAX videos that they release each day and the different sales of limited ships that they have throughout the week, like the Javelin and Idris, like the Pioneer, like the Kraken and others. It is that reason that people find excitement an opportunity to buy another big giant capital ship for your organization. Well, that's not what CIG's real purpose is here. So to understand what's really going on, let's think of this as rush week and they're having a big party to try to attract new people into their frat. Only their frat is star citizen. And Maybe these people are brought over by some streamers. Maybe they're brought over by friends. Maybe they're brought over by an article or maybe just a video of mine that they've seen. And this is what IAE is for. Because for most of us, we've been there, done that, seen this. And of course, with brand new flyable ships like the Corsair and the Cutter and a brand new flyable variant of a ship like the C8R, there is some excitement to be had by going to IAE, but there's also excitement to have by just buying the ship and flying it, or maybe you bought it years ago. But even so, we have to keep our mind open that the real reason that this is going on is for the new people. And if we want Star Citizen to be populated in the future, we should do our part to help new people through the game, teach them the basics, because really the tutorials, although better, are not great. It's still a very big game. It's still a very complex game. It's still a very difficult game for the layman to jump into. Some people might jump in thinking, wow, I'm going to be able to do FPS and not realize they have to have a ship to get to where they're going. Some people might get into FPS and not realize that bang, you're dead or bang, you're incapacitated. Unlike some other FPS games where you get to heal or jump right back up again. I personally take my time when I have it to try to pull some new people under my wing, show them the ropes, maybe throw them on one of my bigger ships so they know what they can be doing later on in the game, and then give my advice on what would be great for them to start off in. One of my favorite things to recommend to people is one of the most hated ships, and that's the Nomad. And for me, when I look at IAE and new people coming in, they need to make money. They don't know a lot of people. And what better way to make money than to mine? And what better ship to have a rock on than a Nomad, which has a much smaller cross-section than a Cutlass, and gives them an opportunity to 
make some money and have a ship that could do box runs, have a ship that could hold its own against VLRTs, LRTs, and MRTs. You never know, right? So I really think that this time of year is our time to get out there and show people what Star Citizen is all about. As far as IE goes, if it wasn't for new people, if it wasn't for y'all, I probably personally wouldn't go to the IAE. It just doesn't give me that excitement, except for maybe on a day that a brand new ship is coming out that I either cannot or do not want to buy. But even so, some things that we do need to make sure that we're bringing to the attention of new people is that Star Citizen isn't always borked like it is when they have free fly weekends or free fly weeks. There isn't always going to be an elevator that doesn't show up and you fall through the world. There isn't always going to be a flight deck that sucks your ship down to it and doesn't let it take off. The game is more stable than it appears to be when people flood the servers, and these are things that we can be telling them. Nonetheless, IAE is here, and with that means I have some videos that I will be bringing to you. I will be doing synopsises of each one of the days so far, probably in just one big video that will be about 10 or 15 minutes long, and then I'll catch up and do the individual days after this. I also owe you a video on the cutter, and I owe you a video on the Corsair, and those will be coming. The Pisces isn't so much different from the old Pisces, it just has that medical bed which is going to make it much more useful in many of the things that we do as Ort. Alright, let's close this one out. I'm excited to be back, thank you so much for watching my videos. Tell me what you want me to cover, and let me know what your favorite thing about IAE is. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. If you are a subscriber or are subscribing, remember, you have to do more than just click that bell-shaped icon, you have to click on all, so you get notified of every single one of my videos. I also have a Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash backdoor. If you want to help support the channel, please become one of my patrons so I can have all of these ships to review and possibly give away. And with that said, you all be safe out there and I will talk to you soon.